and welcome back again. Um, thanks for joining me in a cold, miserable and damp Shropshire workshop. Um, today's video we're going to be looking at another type of bottle opener. Um, I'll hold these up, I can't hold them all together unfortunately, but you might be able to see they are um, playing card bottle stoppers. So if I hold them up one at a time, um, there's the club, diamond, heart and the spade. Um, and they all work quite well as bottle openers but we had the chance to get these as a set and thought they're just rather nice and a little bit different. So I'm going to show you how I do these um, today. Um, you will see the fitting is not really very complicated, they all come with our wood insert screw like so. However these, they are slightly, if I can get this screwed on here, um, they are slightly different to some of the others that you'll see because there's a little lip there which means that the wood insert screw has to actually be inset by about six millimeters. It's really not difficult. Once that's done that's in we can pop it on a mandrel with a mandrel washer that I'm going to be using today um, and just turn it as a normal little handle. So on the lathe I've got um, a piece of cherry, um, English cherry. I'm going to turn this. I might do some of the handles in some other shapes. I'm not going to do turn it of every handle because that would be a bit boring but um, hopefully I might get a picture at the end um, of some of them all together um, but for the purpose of this video I'm going to show you how um, to drill inset the wood um, insert screw into there and actually turn it with a couple of the other tools that we sell as well um, so as I say it's not difficult the one thing that I will elaborate on is the wood insert screw because this the wood insert screw has to cut into the fibres of the wood and it depends what type of wood you have as to a how big the hole needs to be or b if it will work. There are a few woods that, that are, uh, as you've possibly heard me say on another video, have got such a tight close grain these simply won't go into them. U is one. Um, I think African blackwood might be another one. Wenge, I'm not sure about. Um, every piece of wenge I've ever had just cracks and falls to pieces. I hate the stuff. Um, but that could be different. But most normal wood, beech, oak, elm, ash, um, and zebrano, um, lots and lots of the others, sapele, th these will go in no problem at all, absolutely fine. Um, but it's really a little bit about understanding the wood that you're using with. And it doesn't mean you can't use the kit, it just means you have to actually tap a thread directly into those very hard pieces, which is on a separate video. Right, shut up, Otters, and get on with it. My piece of cherry is in my chuck. It's, I think it's just over 100 millimetres long. It's 30 millimetres square. I'm just going to pop a little starter hole in the end before I use the drills. Uh, and I'm going to be drilling at around about 700 RPM, somewhere around there, 700 to 800. Already I can feel that didn't go in level and the reason for that is it's not square on the end, it's not quite square. I'm just going to trim that off a little bit. If your end isn't square what's happening when you put something at the end of it is the uh, movement of the wood is making the, um, the tool actually vibrate slightly so um, let's just take right. let's try again Thank you. 
So on this piece of wood I'm using an 11.5mm drill. Um, I could use the countersink or the drill first, it doesn't really matter too much which way around to do it as long as you're going deep enough to fit in the wood insert screw. in my counter sink. Right, hopefully that's going okay. So I can check with my countersink and my wood insert screw that the tip goes in, that is obviously the wrong way round, and I can now screw the wood insert screw as level as I possibly can into the piece of wood. And just to check that it's okay, we'll just grab one of the actual kits itself and just screw that and make sure that we can screw the whole kit right up to the end of the piece of wood and hopefully you can see that I can if I just, there we go, there we are, you can see that screws in nice and tight. So now what we can do is turn the piece of wood round and turn it on the mandrel. There, my we'll washer is in there, and now we're going to pop on the piece of wood and get it nice and tight. Now, whilst this is a mandrel and you can turn completely supporting here, you have to bear in mind that the more you move down this piece of wood, the more it acts like a lever. So if I try to bend that piece of metal there, it won't do it. The further I come along here, if I get a catch and put enormous pressure, you may find that you can damage not only your mandrel, but also your chuck and possibly even your lathe. So while you're cutting like this, what you need to do is support the one end um, with the live centre just to make sure um, that this end can't move anywhere. So the proof of the pudding, as they say, is in the eating. There we go. There is a nice piece of cherry with the spade um, on the end. And I'll have a play with some of the others.
so there we go I've had a little play with a few just different shapes of things just so you can see give you an idea maybe of some um, different ideas that one is Zebrano don't like Zebrano uh, that's cherry I do like cherry that's a nice um, plain handle this one is uh, that's a bit of elm with a different shape on there and last but by no means least the little diamond shape and that's got a, a little oak a little bit of pippy oak um, handle on there so you can really do whatever you like um, with them they all fit on the mandrel um, they're pretty easy to to turn and fix and um, quite good fun so I hope that's been helpful um, any questions drop us an email through the website um, if you need written instructions there are written instructions and as I always say or try to explain to everyone these are guide videos for the all specific measurements please refer to the guides the fitting guides on the website in downloadable form you can print them off um, and they're directly under the, the product images so once again um, thanks very much for joining me and we'll hope to see you again soon happy turning happy box making whatever it is you do do it safely see you next time bye bye for now